hey there, good looking. If you are unfortunately suffering with sciatica, low back pain, or piriformis syndrome, please join me in this eight exercise routine. I'm going to review eight of my favorite exercises and stretches for the low back. Now, if you are on a hard surface, I recommend a mat, and you'll also need a pillow and a stretch tie. Let's go get started. Hi there, I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com, and hey, I help people move better over the age of 40. So if that interests you, click that subscribe button. Let's keep working together. All right, we start with the first exercise in a standing position in a low back extension. So feet hip width apart, I'm just going to my side to show you, hands in your back pocket. From this position, push the hips forward, and we want to extend through the spine, so not the upper back and the neck, and back to center. So this movement you can do any time throughout your day. Now just a quick tip, any of these moves, it, it, if it increases the intensity of the pain radiating down the leg, I want you to please stop and go into a decreased range of motion or just wait for the next move, okay? We don't want to increase the pain down the leg with any of these moves. Four more. So quite often with sciatica, it's due to too much flexion of the spine. So we'll be doing a lot of extension to balance that out in the first part of the series. Last one. And release. Down on your stomach now. Let's start with a pillow underneath the hips because I'm going to show you how we can progress. But I need you to know where you need to regress back to if you do get that increased pain sensation down the leg. Now, just another quick tip. If you're feeling it in your low back, try to give a couple of reps of what we're about to do, and it may disappear, and that's a good thing, all right? However, like I said, though, if the pain increases down the leg, I want you to regress to the first option. So pillows underneath the hips and lie flat. This flattens the spine and puts the spine in the least amount of extension. Now, we do want to get into extension, but as mentioned, this is where you'll come back to if any of the moves that we're about to do increase that pain down the leg. Now, let's get down onto the forearms, or pardon me, up on the forearms, and hold this. Now, if this feels okay for you, remove the pillow. Drop the hips to the ground. We're trying to extend through the spine, shoulders away from the ears. Getting a nice stretch in the abs while we're also getting that extension into the spine. Now, if this feels good for you, straighten your left arm only. Press yourself up. Left hip will lift off slightly. Look over the left shoulder and lower. Right arm, same thing. And lower. So once again, if the pain increases down the leg, what do you do? You go back to pillow under hips or you lie flat, get off of the forearms. The hip will lift off slightly, that's not an issue. Getting a little bit into the neck as well, which is always nice. One more each arm. And to center. Slide the hands back under the shoulders now, fingers spread. Press yourself all the way up, both arms now. Try to go through end range of motion of the low back if your back allows you to and lower down. So your back might be quite tight and up here is where you are, your range of motion is. But as we go through this, we have 10 lifts. You may be able to get higher each time. Shoulders away from the ears. Good. Looking straight ahead, we won't stress the neck too much. We're not looking up. And trying to keep the hip bones on the ground when we come down and then we peel ourselves upper body belly and then hips good you're gonna feel the arms working a little bit too so remember your regressions if this is too much let's do one more And release onto your back. Knees bent, back of the neck long. Pull the left leg in and interlace the hands behind the thigh and pull that left knee right in. 
We're going to actually stretch the sciatic nerve with this next exercise. So this is called a nerve glide or sciatic nerve glide. Now, this may be enough. You may feel enough of a stretch into the glute, okay, right here. If that's you, I want you to stay here. If you want a little bit more, pull the toe to the shin, so we call that dorsiflexion, and then extend the leg up and lower down. Now you are not going to straighten your leg because we've got a lot of hip flexion here. I want you to pull that knee as close up towards the armpit as you can while we straighten that leg slightly, or aim to straighten that leg. Now, only 10 times, and this is the only move in this series where I'll recommend you only do once a day. You don't want to do multiple times with this nerve glide because it can irritate the sciatic nerve as well. So all the stretches and those extension moves that we just finished up with, by all means, multiple times through the day, but this, aim for just once a day. One more. And let's keep the knee to chest and just hold there, relax the foot. I have my hands interlaced right behind that left knee. And then how's your neck? Is it long in the back? Let's lift the head up, slide the chin in, and then lower the head down. And release. Now let's pull the right knee in. So let's start with that right knee coming up close to the chest, as close as you can get it. And again, this may be where you're going to stay for the entire time. Now, if you find that you can take it a little deeper for the sciatic stretch, pull the toe to the shin, and now extend up. And once again, knee will stay bent and bring heel back down, keeping the toe pulled to the shin. Well, again, what we call dorsiflexion. Slow and controlled is the name of the game with this one. Don't go fast. Save that for your cardio workout. <laughs> Three more. Last one. And knee back into chest. Relax the foot and just hold for a few breaths. Right foot on the ground, piriformis stretch, left ankle crosses over right thigh. Now for some of you, this may be enough of a stretch. You want to feel it into that left glute, um, deep into the hip. If you want more of a stretch, you pick that right foot up, interlace the hands behind that right thigh, and then here is another tip to really get that piriformis stretch properly, is line the right knee up with the outside of the right shoulder. Now, is that back of the neck still long? Good. So your piriformis muscle is a hip rotator and the sciatic nerve is actually anchored with the piriformis. So sometimes it, this muscle being tight causes sciatica. It's nothing to do with your low back um, in a sense. But hopefully you read the information down below in my description and that you shouldn't self-diagnose. So if you are experiencing pain in your low back, if it's radiating down your leg, please go see a physiotherapist. They can help diagnose exactly what the issue is and then how the issue is happening. Is it posture? Is it job related? Is it the way you're working out? Is it the way your body mechanics are? Now, as you're holding a stretch, you're going to feel that first little bit, that tightness subside a bit, and that's awesome. If that's you right now, right here, maybe you can bring the hands on top of the shin and interlace the hands, deepening that hip stretch. Two more breaths. And right foot to ground, left foot to ground. All right, bridge up for me, then just drop the hips. Beautiful. Right ankle crosses over left thigh. 
So now piriformis is on this side, and be aware, each side may feel quite differently. So give some respect to each side of the body when you move into different parts. Now, this may be enough. If not, lift the leg up. And remember that cue I gave you on that other side. You want to line now the left knee up with the outside of the left shoulder. Try to relax other areas of the body. So that includes the arms as best you can. Once again, the back of the neck is long. And you may feel that stretch subside a bit, at which point you can increase it by either drawing the knee closer towards you, or if you're able to, bringing the hands on top of the shin. I find with people that I work with, the extension moves, so that first little series that we did, and this is enough to give them the relief in their low back and their sciatic. So I'm hoping that for you. But once again, I really do hope that you went and saw a health professional to help diagnose exactly what's going on and help you on your road to recovery. Couple more breaths. Now let's release that left foot to the ground, right foot to the ground, and then straighten your right leg. Getting into pure formus with this next series, as well as some spinal rotation. So let's lift that left knee up. Grab onto it, so if you can, interlace your hands on top of the knee and pull that knee towards the opposite armpit. So that means you're going to lift that left glute off and do a little bit of rotation in the lower spine while we pull that knee in towards the opposite shoulder. So this is going to get piriformis, glutes, and as mentioned, your a uh, little bit of rotation in your spine. Both of my shoulders are still on the ground but that left glute is totally lifted. The other leg is straight, just resting on the ground. And as you hold this stretch, if you want to intensify it, you just simply pull that knee up closer to that opposite shoulder and pull it across the midline of the body more. So the arms are being used a lot to help do this stretch. So they're going to be contracted, so to speak, but I want you to see if you can release the rest of the muscles. Like I just noticed I was really contracting the glute on my other leg, so I've released it. Just kind of do a mental note. Do a mental check of all the muscles. Relax them as best you can. And feel that stretch in that left glute, left hip. Couple more breaths. And roll it back. Extend that leg. Let's do the right knee now. So bend it. Interlace the hands on top of that thigh, or on top of that chin, pardon me. Now pull it across the midline of the body and up towards the opposite shoulder. And keep doing that until you get the desired stretch in that right glute and hip. Now do that mental check, trying to relax the other areas of the body. Maybe your gaze is soft, or maybe you've even decided to close your eyes. I really love closing my eyes when I'm stretching, and just focus on your breath. Feel that breath coming in through the nose. And nice and slow out through the mouth. This is also a good time to stop 
the mind chatter that happens with all of us. And by doing that, you can simply just count your breath. Inhale for one. Exhale for two. Counting to ten. And then starting over again. It's a really great mindfulness technique to help get you back into the present. Couple more breaths. And back to center. Straighten the legs. Maybe reach the arms overhead like a good morning stretch. Stretching toes to fingers. And then grab that stretch tie or bathrobe tie, whatever you have available. Start with bent knees for me. Lift the left foot up and place it underneath the tie and then extend it up, but let it go until you don't really feel much in the hamstring and then use your arms to pull the leg towards you until you do feel it in your hamstring. If you feel shaking in that hamstring, I want you to let it go a bit, okay? Your muscle spindles think that you're going to overstretch it so they're contracting hard to stop that. So a shaking muscle actually means that it's contracting and it is impossible to relax and stretch a contracted muscle. So just let it go, get rid of the shakes, and hold there. Now if your leg's about 90 degrees and the low back and the back of your leg feels good with that, feel free to straighten your other leg on the ground. Press the back of the knee away from you, getting into the belly of the hamstring here. Now we're going to hit the outer and inner edge of the hamstring too with this three-way stretch. So let's start with the inner edge. Place the tie in just the left hand and just let the leg drop out to your side a bit. Your other glute and hip are staying on the mat. Now press the knee away and hold. So you'll feel a different sensation in more of the inside of the hamstring, closer towards the inner thigh, the groin area. Now I've got my left upper arm just resting on the ground. Now let's bring the leg across, grab onto the tie with that right hand now, bring it across just enough so you feel that left glute lift off the ground, press the knee away and feel a different sensation, a different stretch. And back to center. Now a really easy way to get the other leg underneath the tie without too much effort on our part is simply lift that right leg up now, place it under the tie and now drop the leg. Now let's start with that bent left knee though before we begin. Now let that right leg go, straighten it out completely and let it go away from the body. Now pull it in with the arms until you feel the desired stretch without the shaking in that right hamstring. And then, you know, be aware of what's going on everywhere else. Is that back of the neck still long? Muscles in the face relaxed. Shoulders and arms relaxed as best you can. Now the hamstring is an important muscle to stretch. It's a quite a long muscle in the back of the thigh that tends to be tight in a lot of us. And that can cause low back pain, sciatica, piriformis syndrome. I like the lying down one. You can also do it standing with your leg up on something. You can do it seated. I find seated, people tend to flex their spine more because we are tight in this area. So for best hamstring stretch out there, right here, 
lying down with the tie, having the ground support our spine, and just letting gravity do its work. Now, if this feels okay for you, that leg's at 90. Once again, feel free to straighten your other leg on the ground. Now, let's get the inner part of that hamstring now. So the tie's in the right hand. Let the leg go away from the midline of the body, but we're still keeping that left hip and glute on the ground. Now, once you drop that leg out, you may have done what I just did. My knee slightly bent. It bent a bit. Now I'm going to push the heel away from me and push the knee away from me and straighten that leg. Couple more breaths. And now let's bring that leg across the midline. Left hand grabs onto our tie. We anchor ourselves with that right shoulder, the right glutes lifting off, press the knee away, and just go until, my leg's starting to shake, so I need to let it go a bit. Just go until you feel the stretch without the shaking. And once again, this is going to give you a different sensation. You may even feel it down the calf on this. And back to center. Let's finish off with both feet underneath. This feels really nice. And then if the tie is long enough and allows you to, let the upper arms just rest on your ground. Press the heels up to your ceiling. Spine is long. Back of the neck is long. So this is very similar to legs up on the wall if you've ever gone to a yoga class. release. Heels close to the bum and hip width apart, arms down by your side. Roll the tailbone off the mat, then your low back, mid back, upper back as much as you can. Hold for bridge, squeezing into the glutes, and then slowly release, going down vertebrae by vertebrae once again until your glutes hit the mat. Good job. Two more times. Here we go. Squeeze the glutes first. Roll the low back, mid back, and then as much of the upper back as you can. Keep the rib cage knitted, they say, so you're not flaring the rib cage, opening everything up like so. We're keeping the core tight. And now let's release back down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Once again, heels close to the bum, hip width apart. Last time. Once we're at that top part of the bridge, we pause for breath and then lower down. That was a bonus move, so there's nine moves <laughs> instead of eight as advertised. Rock yourself up to a seated position. Thank you so much for joining me. Now listen, if you're enjoying this workout ads free on Over 50 Fitness, head to our private Facebook group. I would love to hear from you and what you thought of the video. If you're watching this on YouTube, hey, drop a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. In addition, we would love for you to subscribe to the channel. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.